role of the pandemic and its impact on our workforce, I think can't be underestimated. We have seen over the past two plus years, incredible heroism on behalf of our clinicians, but it's been really taking its toll. We have always risen to the occasion in healthcare. We've seen that over time. And there've always been shortages and cyclical workforce issues, but never to the extent that we've seen after the pandemic. We need to make sure that we do everything we can to support the precious workforce that we do have. One of those ways that we really can support them is by thoughtful use of technology and making sure that we have tools and assistive aids to our staff to enable them to be able to take the best care of patients that they can. As we develop new technologies, it's really important that we enhance their workflows and not add on additional work or work in parallel. It really has to be integrated into the work that our clinical workforce does every day. And I think the perfect example of that is the way that we've all adapted to the use of smartphones in our daily lives. Our technology in healthcare needs to be as essential as the smartphone is to us. I really see that technology is evolving in that way. For example, the nurse call system saves steps. We know that wearables, the, the technologies that are wearable and are able to um, send information to the electronic health record real time are also very helpful. Um, we see technology in the way of medication delivery, IV, our wristband systems that help make sure that we deliver the medication to, our, to the appropriate person. Ultimately, you know, technology has evolved rather dramatically over the last 10 to 20 years. Used to be that you know, we would just want to connect the data and every alert, every alarm, every beep, then we would just try to figure out how to route that to the caregiver. I think we've learned a lot through that, that that causes cognitive burden. And with, you know, our current situation where you have care teams that are stretched to the limit, that have perhaps less experience at the bedside than ever before, it only creates confusion and distress. And so our focus now is to find a way to ensure that we're delivering meaningful insights to the palm of the care team's hands to hopefully augment that overall care plan for the patient. In fact, if you take a look at it, most hospitals are running somewhere between 700 and 900 apps at this stage of the game, um, all of them working differently, all of them are not connected. And I think if we're going to move forward as, you know, as a community, we need to find a way to potentially synchronize those things just to make it easier on the care teams. Um, when you think about, you know, the nurse that's holding a mobile phone, if they have seven apps that they have to go through to manage that patient's condition and follow up on it, as well as record data and record, I think it starts to become a challenge. I think the other piece is automation is, is what is desired dramatically. The amount of time that the care team spends logging data versus the time by the bedside really nurturing that patient has changed dramatically as well. And so the more we can automate data and put ourselves in position where the care team doesn't have to log the data, but it is automatically entered into the EMR, automatically sort of put through an engine that can identify potential deterioration. That's when we start to really make a, make a difference. Uh, that's when we really start to relieve some of the, the pressure on the care teams. For our journey at Ascension Providence, uh, we have invested in enhancing our nurse call system uh, with badge tracking capabilities. In addition, uh, we purchased smart beds as our fleet has gotten old. We truly started to understand the connectivity to the electronic health record. So as we've made investments, we've looked at tr trying to use those investments to create one platform of care technology to support our team. One technology that we are implementing is a patient safety feature as 50% of our falls with injuries within our facility are caused by uh, the failure of the caregiver to place the bed in alarm status when they exit a room for our at-risk patients. 
through automation and interfacing with the electronic health record to the smart beds and to the nurse call system with badge tracking capabilities, the, the electronic health record actually communicates with the bed when the caregiver leaves the room and then places that bed in alarm status without the caregiver having to remember. What we hope to achieve over time if for our caregivers, including our nursing staff, is to reduce that cognitive burden that they carry day-to-day uh, -day in patient care, uh, hopefully decrease the number of steps that they have in their work day, uh, decrease duplicative efforts amongst the care team, driving us then to being able to provide more uh, time at the bedside in delivering care and communicating effectively with our patients.